Hi guys, Dan Cooper here from Pro Tools Expert and in this video I'm going to be showing you around the Softube Console 1 hardware, this being the small form factor control surface and the Softube Console 1 Mark II software with UAD plugin support. First, let me show you around the face of this control surface. Now, it connects to your computer via a single USB cable and the software is downloadable via Gobbler. Now, on the face here, we've got two sets of functions. We've got a primary function, which is basically whenever you reach for a switch or a dial, that will be the primary function and they're labeled in white and the secondary functions on this are labeled in yellow and you have to hold the shift button down at the bottom left here which is also the fine adjust control hold that down and then you can select your secondary functions such as load compressor eq channel strip or use this dial at the bottom here to toggle between different compressors and eqs and whatnot so now let me show you around the different sections on the console one so at the left here we've got input gain high and low filters this shape section that has a basic gate and transient control, four band equalizer with the highs and the lows having this switch that can put it into cut, bell or shelf and two cues for the low mid and high mid bands. On the right, we've got compressor, you know, ratio, attack, release, threshold and this parallel dry wet control, which is really useful. And to the right of that, we've got this drive section. I absolutely love this and it's drive character. So you can set in your drive and then you can actually just change how it sounds, the tonality of that drive, it's lovely. And to the right of that, we've got solo, mute, pan and volume. In Pro Tools, I'm not really using those. As you can see, I've got a control surface here for that. But in other DAWs such as Studio One, that's all integrated. So you can use that in Pro Tools, but I personally don't. Now at the top of the console one, we've got the track selects and we can go from one to 20, so tracks one to 20, uh, to 21 up to 40. We've got this page up and page down next to it here, so really simple. And that corresponds to the plugins in the DAW. Now let's switch over to that. So at the top of each track in Pro Tools, I've got the Console 1 plugin as insert A. I've got seven tracks that I'm going to be working on here. It's just drums. Each of the Console 1 plugins is accessed at the top here, so between 1 and 7. So 1 to 6 are the drums, and 7 is the submix of the drums. So let's start mixing these drums, and I'm going to go straight on for the overheads, you can load the display on the left here, and before I hit play, I can just reach out for any dial here, and it instantly makes a change, which is great. Now I can also bypass each of these processes at the top here by clicking on the name, and bring it back in again. Now you don't necessarily need the display open, you can just look at the, uh, the control surface, it's got some nice little LEDs around here as well to show you where you've left your pots. So let's start mixing these drums. Overheads first, low cut, let's go for some of this drive, character of the drive, bring the compressor down. Let's put the kick in. Switch over to that on the console one. Again, let's go for the drive. Threshold again. And snare. Switch over to that, it's on number three. Now let's use, for the snare, let's use a UAD supported plugin in the console one software so this is where we use our second function hold select and comp at the top here and then we use this select dial here to switch between them so let's go for let's go for the FET compressor and then okay and let's start compressing Yeah, so about there. Now let's add a UAD EQ into this. Same thing, select EQ, and let's go for the Trident A range. Okay. Low cut in. 
Sounds great. Now let's do something with the bus. Switch to seven. Again, let's go for another UAD plug-in here. So, and let's go for the Chandler Zen limiter. That will work quite well. Okay. All right, quite pumpy. Let's use the parallel feature here. Just put some of that back. Bypass. Back in. Again, drive. Such a sucker for it. Maybe let's add a little bit of low ends. Nice. Excellent. And it's that easy. It really, really is. So that in a nutshell is the Console One Mark II, really straightforward. Now the Console One Mark II was reduced in price quite a lot, so if you're a UAD user there's really sort of no excuse for getting hold of one of these. Uh, as I've said for many years, using control services is just a great way to make music. You end up using your hands more, you don't really rely on using your eyes to look at plugins, and more importantly you don't have to use the mouse as much. Music's about feeling things really, and this it's just a lovely little package for making music. As you can see here, I've got it as like a, an addition to my other control surface, my C24. I use my C24's set of faders, pan controls, encoders, and everything to control other plugins, but I'm using the Softube Console 1 for everything else, which is great. Anyway, I hope you guys got something from that. Let us know your thoughts on the Softube Console 1 Mark II in the comments below. I've been Dan from Pro Tools Expert, and I'll catch you next time.